hey what is up everybody my name is rahul and in this video we'll be looking at a challenge called ssrf 101 for 241 points the challenge description says that can you access the private server now this is a great challenge which teaches you that how small mistakes or errors can cost you a flag so let me just show it to you right here so these are the things that we get provided because we have a source.zip file and if we unzip it this is what we get first of all we have the docker file which says that this is a node application that is being run and let's just forget about these because this is just exposing the port 80 and then it is running bash on start.sh now let's go to start.sh first of all now here you'll see that first of all what he's doing is he's running private1.js followed by private2.js and the third is public.js so first of all so this is how the application will begin first of all so let's just go to private1.js now these are some of the things that will happen if I go to slash private1.js So if I go to slash it will redirect me or it will provide me with private1.js file If I go to slash private2 it will provide me with private2.js And let's just go to private2.js now Again this is the flag that we have here but there's a slight difference As you can see the private port has been set to 1001 and this is on a different port altogether now even if the challenge hadn't specifically mentioned that this is going to be an ssrf challenge this was specifically going to be a SSRF, ssrf challenge because that is how you can access different ports or ip addresses in the local network using uh, which is using the ssrf attack now let's just go to the final one because i think public.js is the main file here so if I go to slash, you can see it'll give me the public.js file, which is this. And let me just show it to you here. So as you can see, I am in the slash directory or the home root directory. And this is what it is showing me, which is exactly the same as this. Now here you'll see that there are certain variables being set. The first is the public port, which is 80. The second is the private port, which is 1001. Now, if I select, a, uh, if I go to slash SSRF, or let's just go through the comments first. It says, use this endpoint to reach a web server which is only locally accessible. Now, as you can see, it is making our work a bit easier. So, let's just uh, go to SSRF and path is equal to this. And as you can see, this is what we had read here or gone through here. If I go to slash, it will give me the private one.js which is specifically happening over here. But what if I were to go to slash private2, will I have the access to the contents here? As you can see, I have access to the contents here. But what is the problem? The problem is that this is on a different port entirely. As you can see, this is on port 1011. And this is being rendered on port, as you can see, 1001. So how do we add an extra one? How do we do it? Should I do it like this? localhost 10011 and private2 again you will see that it says an invalid url because what is happening here is that it says localhost 1001 and i'll tell you where this is coming from as you can see this is the url that is being formed which is http localhost colon followed by the private port which is 1001 followed by the exact path now what is the path the path is request.query.path so which means that this is the path variable so what this is what is happening here is it is straight away appending it to this so how do we you know exploit it for our own um, for, the, for for getting the flag so the uh, the url that is being formed is this this is what has been set previously as you can see this is being set and then there's a private one port so the private one port is 1001 so let's just replace this with 1001 and as you can see it is straight away appending the path here which is this one so what if i were to change this to 1 why 1 because as soon as i write 1 this will become 1 so this will change the port entirely so here will be the port that we'll be reaching and then we'll be going to flag because here is the flag so let's just see if it works in our favor and as you can see this beautifully works in our favor so thank you guys this is it for the video